What's up, everyone? This is Jalen Phillips and the Miami Dolphins, and you're watching South Beach Sports. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. Click the links down below to stay connected on our other platforms. Fins up, baby. What's going on, everyone? This is Luke from South Beach Sports, and I apologize for my enthusiasm throughout this video. It's pretty low. The Dolphins just lost to the Bills 35-0, to zero, so I'm not super thrilled right now. But in today's video, I'm going to review some of the game film from today's game from that Miami Dolphins offensive line, which performed horrendously. Like, that might have been the worst performance I've ever seen from an NFL offensive line. And I've seen some pretty bad performances over the years, so that's saying a lot. Like, there was no positive to take away from that offensive line play. I mean, both tackles, Austin Jackson and Jesse Davis, were really bad. The guard play of Solomon Kinley and Robert Hunt was bad. Michael Dieter was bad. And the worst thing about, about all of this is that I'm not sure if there is an easy fix in sight. Like always, make sure to like the video if you enjoy it. And we are only, I think, 50 subscribers away from 1,000, and that would obviously be a huge accomplishment for this channel. So if you enjoy my content and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So this disaster of an afternoon started on the very first play for the Miami Dolphins. The Bills sent five. They sent a nickel corner on that defensive back blitz, and nobody picked him up. He was a, he was completely untouched. The, this was just a complete miscommunication on the Dolphins uh, the, on the Dolphins offensive line part. Both uh, Solomon Kinley and Michael Dieter both picked up the defensive tackle. Austin Jackson picked up the ed edge rusher, and the defensive back was untouched where he collected the first sack of the game. Still on the first uh, first drive here, third and 11, and as you guys see here, Tua Tungwiloa is literally pointing out where the blitz is going to come from. It's going to be another DB blitz. The Dolphins sub in Malcolm Brown for pass protection purposes. Brown is the best pass protecting running back that the Dolphins have, and Brown simply does not pick up this assignment. Uh, Another free rusher is in the backfield, and Tua Tungwiloa gets sacked for the second time of the day, and the Dolphins are forced to punt. Fourth and two, second possession of the day, and Jesse Davis, what are we doing here? Like, what are we doing here? This was not a mis miscommunication or, any or anything of that nature. Jesse Davis just got beat so cleanly. Like, there was no attempt to affect the trajectory of the rush of the edge rusher. L like, this this was one of the worst attempts from, a off from an offensive tackle that I've ever seen. Uh, obviously, it forces an, is, it forces an incompletion. Tua Tungvaloa gets knocked out of the game. He's carted to the locker room, and the Dolphins ru ruled it a bruised rib or bruised ribs. Uh, they're unsure of the timetable right now. He could come back next game, could be out for a couple of games, but this was legitimately one of the worst plays from an offensive lineman that I've ever seen from Jesse Davis. Second for Jacoby Brissett is now in the game, and while this is a completion for a first down, I really do not care. I'm just more focused on the lack of production from that Dolphins offensive line. The right side of the line loses leverage almost immediately and gets backed up into Brissett. Austin Jackson, the starting left tackle, who's, pre who's development so far in his first two seasons in the NFL with the Dolphins has been terrible to say the least, gets beat cleanly off a spin move. And this is another loss of a play for the Miami Dolphins offensive line. This isn't a win whatsoever despite the completion. The Dolphins only have five players in pass, uh, pa in pass protection on this play. They choose to send a running back out into the flat instead of in protection, which is, you know, whatever, I guess. And the Bills are sending six. So naturally, you would expect one Bills defender to end up in the Dolphins backfield relatively untouched. Well in this case there's two, so how does that happen? Well look at the right side of the offensive line, Jesse Davis either has another blunder or it's a miscommunication and another rusher ends up making a play on Brissett untouched and this leads into another sack. One of the players that I have been pretty disappointed in so far this season for the Dolphins is right guard Robert Hunt. I expected Hunt to build off of that solid rookie season he had and develop into a solid right guard and we have not seen that so far. Here we see Hunt gets beat cleanly off the rip move by the, by the defender and luckily Jacoby Brissett is able to pass the ball to Parker before he gets sacked.
Here we go guys, last play of the video, and I just want to highlight Michael Dieter and Solomon Kinley because I feel like I haven't talked about them enough this video, and just because I haven't talked about them that much doesn't mean that they were good or average in the slightest, they're both very bad today. So here we see Michael Dieter gets beat cleanly off the rip move, Solomon Kinley gets beat on the speed rush, and both of these defenders are able to hit Jacoby Brissett. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned, were able to learn a little bit more about why the Dolphins off the offensive line was so bad against the Bills. Like I said earlier, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on the 35-0 beatdown the Dolphins took to the Bills. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you later. Peace.